How to Draw the Rock Cycle. The earth began hot, really hot. Magma, lava. Lava and magma, when they cool, become igneous rock. Igneous rocks can be rained on and wind blows and big rocks can clunk on them and turn them into little rocks that is weathering. And erosion is carrying the weathered particles downstream. Weathering and erosion turn big rocks into little rocks and carry them downstream. They become sediments. Sediments are little rocks that used to be big rocks. When those rocks become deposited and then some cementing happens, you get sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are laid down in layers, like the layers at the Grand Canyon. As more and more sediments are laid down above the rock, tons and tons of rock will push down on it, pushing it down further and further until it gets close to the heat source that's at the center of the earth. We have pressure from above and heat from below that creates heat and pressure to make metamorphic rocks. Magma and lava can cool to become igneous rock. Igneous rock can be weathered and eroded to become sediments. Sediments can be deposited and cemented to become sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock can have heat and pressure applied to become igneous rock. And igneous rock can be melted to become magma. So there are three different types of rock. Igneous rock, sedimentary rock, metamorphic rock. There's also melted rock and little pieces of rock, sediments. Metamorphic rock can also undergo weathering and erosion to become sediments. Sedimentary rock can also be weathered and eroded to become sediments. Igneous rock can also remelt and become magma. Sedimentary rock can also melt to become magma. Igneous rock can also undergo heat and pressure to become metamorphic rock. At this point, I'd like you to realize there are five boxes with four arrows coming into and out of each box. Magma has one, two, three, four arrows. Igneous rock has one, two, three, four arrows. Sediments have one, two, three, four arrows. Sedimentary rock has four arrows, one, two, three, four, and metamorphic rock, four. Also, metamorphic rock can have heat and pressure applied and become another type of metamorphic rock. Okay, we'll start by drawing five boxes. Then we'll go through the different rock types. Melted rock. Melted rock that has cooled. Big rocks that have been turned into little rocks. Rocks laid down in layers. Rocks subjected to heat and pressure deep in the earth. Now we're going to take our three different rock types and melt them. Heat. We're melting our rock. Heat. We'll take our three different rock types and we'll weather and erode them. And we'll take our three different rock types and subject them to heat and pressure. We'll take our magma and cool it into igneous rock. We'll take our sediments and deposit and cement them to make sedimentary rock. The diagram looks a little complicated, but actually it's simple. It's five boxes with four arrows each with an extra arrow for metamorphic rock. It comes back to itself. 